Many people have reported issues with micro stutters and frame drops when switching to update 8 in experimental. And that's pretty normal. A lot of people are experiencing these issues and it is to be expected for an experimental build. So if you think the game still has some problems that you don't want to uh, suffer through, well, just go back to stable branch, to early access branch, and, you know, update 2, update 8 when it's out of experimental, because right now it will cause some issues. It's, it's just how it is. So basically what you do is you go to Epic Games, select Satisfactory Experimental, click Manage and verify the files. This will make sure that there is no issues in your files causing any problems like that. If you have it on Steam, go to your Steam game, click uh, the settings, and installed files or uh, local files and there you find a verified tab there. So anyways, you can do that. I only have it on Epic, but wait for it to be done. Now click on your uh, account in the top right corner down there and then you can go down and you'll find satisfactory experimental. We also have the early access tab there, but we have something called additional command and you can try to have it in DirectX 11, works better for some. DirectX 12, force it to DirectX 12, works better for some. And there we can write in dash Vulkan if you want to force it into Vulkan. But you can first try with not writing anything in there. You can see for my part, I can't use Vulkan there. So I'll actually have to force a DirectX 11 to launch the game. I will highly recommend that you update your graphics drivers. So what you need to do is you'll need to go into system information, check for display and there you see what graphics card you have. Now I have a 10 series, not notebook, it's a desktop like that. And that's the Titan version right there, as you can see here. So I'm just going to uh, select Windows 10 64 bit and we're going to select the DCH drivers because those are the newest nowadays. We're going to also select studio drivers here. You can see recommended beta studio drivers. You can see we select the studio and we're going to download and install that. Some people have reported that the studio drivers for some unknown reason works much better for uh, satisfactory update eight. So yeah. Who knows, um, do, do install that, should work fine with everything else you do. Uh, it's a little bit more optimized for like some softwares like Adobe, um, but yeah, works great for games too. So usually you want game ready drivers, but for this application, uh, for some reason, Studio Drivers works better for a lot of people. And yeah, we'll just click extract and start the installation process of the drivers and uh, you'll be fine. Select the NVIDIA graphics driver or GeForce Experience if you like that. And then you cre create a custom one and make sure that you click perform a clean install to make sure you don't have any settings that messes up your system. The preset settings of the install is usually better than what the YouTube guides show you. So yeah, a lot of the guides actually give you very counterproductive tips uh, for improving your FPS and it might badly negatively affect all your games. So make sure you perform a clean install. So um, my computer is a little bit strange. Um, in the settings in the launcher for the Epic Games, I force DirectX 11. This is deprecated, but it works. For some people, it actually gives better FPS. So you may also want to try DirectX 11 and see if you get better FPS. I, th I, th I hear that most people get best FPS with Vulkan, but it depends a lot with different systems. So just switch between DirectX 11, 12 and Vulkan and see which gives uh, best FPS for you. So we have some special settings here. A lot of people is getting lag from foliage load distance being far or very far or something like that. I would drag this down to near. Uh, it might look a little bit weird, but this is a setting that will give you a performance boost for most systems that's uh, actually pretty big. And by the way, if you have a screen that has 60 FPS, you don't need to have a higher frame rate than 60 because there is no reason you will not be able to render it. Here on max FPS, you should limit this to what your display has for FPS. Mine being uh, 144. Down under anti-aliasing method, you can see it's set to temporal AA. This is what you should keep it as if you want to have good performance. Uh, the other one, the 
TSR or FXAA does give worse FPS right now, might be fixed in the future, but for now go to, just go with TAA. I know it's a cool feature, but make sure that the global illumination is turned off and also the reflections, because this is a cool new feature with Lumen and it gives an interesting effect and change to the game, but it takes a lot of FPS and it's not even fully supported by the satisfactory development team. Uh, Coverstain hasn't really dwelt into these settings yet. Um, like, it works, but it also works. It's like axed into the game. It's not perfected in any way. So these should be kept off. And there we are in the game. <laughs> it's not perfect by any means, but at my crowded base here, I am getting 70 FPS. And hopefully you are getting a better FPS too. And hopefully you don't have any micro stutters going on now. Oh my god, look at this shadow. This is creepy. With the update to Unreal Engine 5 with update 8, there is also the fact that the settings you had, even though you have the same as in update 7, the update 8 ones are not actually the same settings because there is a new game engine. So, you must understand that even though you have the same settings as you had before, it is not actually the same settings, which is why there could be a performance decrease on your system even though you think you have the same settings. And again, the game engine has been updated, that's a real big thing. The old settings for the graphical options you had, they're not really relevant anymore since the game engine has been updated. So even though you think it looks the same, the settings are actually not the same. All right, and uh, there has been some discussion on Reddit recently and I'm gonna share you the information there. And it appears that some of the bugs that caused the stuttering here in update eight is a problem with loading the foliage. Now, what we can do to mitigate the stuttering a little bit, the stuttering in specific, uh, is that you go to the video and you basically just put foliage quality to low and foliage load distance to near. And this made the stuttering problem not go away completely for me, but it removed a lot of the issue. So that's really nice. Now, you may notice that my game looks half decent now, uh, even though it's not perfect in any sense. Uh, this was the best combo I could get. I'm just gonna share with you my personal settings for what I found to be the best uh, middle ground between as little stuttering as possible and as good graphics as possible. So here I decided to put my texture and shadow down to medium but I have the post-processing on high. This makes the game look so much more clean and nice than it would otherwise. So that was a big a big thing for me. Post-processing post -processing on high made it look much better, even though the like, shadow and textures are worse. I put down anti-aliasing too, and we have VFX quality, that is particles like smoke and stuff, that can easily cause a lot of stutters and lag if you have a lot of particle generating structures uh, at one place. So unfortunately, it looks cool to have it higher, but for me, I, I need to keep it low. Foliage distance again, low and near. They are just as bad as they can get, because right now we have an issue with the foliage, it seems to be. Light quality, I put too high. And with the light quality put to high, together with the post-processing on high, the game still looks different uh, and decent um, than it would have if we had everything on low, medium. Um, so these are two important factors that made it look cool for me. Cloud doesn't affect much for me, so they go to medium. Uh, I found that I tried to force the game in 1080p uh, and at forced full screen and that made it much worse for me, so I, uh, you can try it, but that didn't work for me at all. And then of course, Temporal AA, as said, is probably what you need to have if you want to have decent quality, and unfortunately you'll need to turn off global illumination and reflections down here, uh, if you didn't know that. Now, uh, I, d I, I did not enable a lot of dithering, 
and I did not enable contact shadows. Turning these off removed a slight bit, especially the Lord Dittering turned, uh, removed some of the stuttering, so it's just a slight bit better. But uh, everyone is having issues, or a lot of people are having issues with update 8 here. So if you think that even with my advice to make it not lag and stutter, even if it doesn't work to a satisfactory level to you, then I would actually recommend you to just play Stable Branch Update 7, because they are probably going to fix some of these issues. I hope. But if you do that, you can't enjoy the new super boosted uh, parachute that you can use sprint mode with. I'm not even sure you need to uh, have a jetpack anymore. This seems to be working pretty fine. <laughs> In any case, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video. And if you did, do consider to leave a like. Um, and other than that, I'll be seeing you in future videos. So hopefully you can run this game without any lag or not much stuttering at least. And uh, unfortunately, it is common that we get a little bit worse uh, performance than we used to get. So yeah, there is that. But with this combo settings, you can probably remove most of the stutters and still have some graphical enjoyment. By the way, for me, it lags much more and stutters much more when we are at the home base. Um, where we have all the stuff and it lags much less when we're away where we don't have many structures also cutting down the trees may uh, improve your experience for your building base so yeah that's a little tip maybe we should try to move to the desert and see if it works better anyways enough rambling on see you next time this is your host jimmy desm we're signing out